Hi, I'm Mark Tooley, neurosurgeon. Welcome to Medicine Boys. Today, I'm going to be talking about the peripheral nervous system. Now, the peripheral nervous system guarantees the connection between the various organs of the body and the central nervous system. It is also called the autonomous system because it induces behavior that does not involve either a conscious uh, effort or superior cerebral structures. Now, it is also called the vegetative system, the vegetative system, because it automatically regulates the basic vital functions of the body. In fact, besides connecting the rest of the body to the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system keeps some functions of single organs under control. It also regulates the homeostasis of the entire organism by stimulating or hindering activities such as cardiac and respiratory frequency, acidic secretion of the stomach, uh, intestinal, intestinal move movements, and so on. It is made up of nervous fibers and of ganglia, organs made of neurons, neuron aggregates. Depending on their characteristics, these nerves and ganglia are divided into two main groups, the parasympathic and the orthosympathic system. Both of them innervate the same organs, and often their action is anti antagonistic. For example, the vagus nerve, or uh, in the parasympathic, allows brachial or brachial muscles to contract, while the endings of the sympathic relax them. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Mark Tooley. Goodbye.